Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to delete or remove data from MySQL table under this CodeIgniter 4 framework. Here we have make CRUD application in CodeIgniter 4 framework. And in this part, we want to learn how to delete data from MySQL table. So first we want to make delete button for each row of data and then after we want to write javascript function so when we have click on any row of delete button then that row data will be deleted from mysql table and display success message on web page for make delete button for each row we have go to crudview.php file and here we have make delete data javascript function with id as argument Under this function, we have write if statement, and condition, we have write confirm, with message like are you sure you want to remove it, so when we have click on button, then pop up box will appear on web page, so when we have click on ok button, then if block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write window.location.ref is equal to, php echo statement, with base url function after this we have write crud slash delete slash id variable so page will redirect to this url and it will delete this id of data now we have go to six number table column and here we have write button tag with type is equal to button and here we have write on click event is equal to delete data function and under this we have write dollar user id variable so when we have click on this function then it will call delete data function and it will delete data Next, we have go to crud controller class, and here we have make delete function, with dollar id as argument. This function will received get request for delete data. Under this function, first we want to create object of model class, so here we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to, new crud model class. Below this, we have write dollar crud model variable with where method with two argument in first argument we have write id and in second argument we have write dollar id variable this method will add where condition in query and for delete data here we have add delete method with dollar id as argument this method will delete query and execute that query and it will delete data from MySQL table. After this, we want to display success message on web page. So in CodeIgniter 4 framework, we will use flash message, which has been stored in session. So for initialize session library, we have write dollar session variable is equal to slash config folder slash services class with session method. After initialize session library, now we want to store message in flash data, so here we have write dollar session variable, with set flash data method, with two argument, in first argument, we have flash data name success, and in second argument, we have write message like user data deleted. Next, we want to redirect page to list of user data page so here we have write return statement with dollar this variable with response object with redirect method and under this method we have write site url function and under this function we have write slash crud so it will redirect page to crud controller index method and on this page we have already write code for display success message 
at the time of insert data tutorial. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. And after refresh of web page, here we can see delete button has been appear at each of data. So for delete data, we have click on this row of delete button. And after click on delete button, then this message has been pop in browser with OK and cancel button. So we have click on cancel button. After click on cancel button, no action has been performed. Now again we have click on delete button. Then again pop message has been display with OK and cancel button. But now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button, here on web page, we can see success message has been display and data has been removed from MySQL database. So this way, we can delete or remove data from MYSQL table under this code igniter for framework and under this code igniter for CRUD application, we have fetch and display data in pagination form and then after we have discuss how to insert data in MYSQL table then after we have seen how update data MSQL table data and lastly we have seen how to delete data from MYSQL table so this topic has been covered under code igniter for crud application lastly if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial you can ask your query in comment box if you have liked this video please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial